My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Oh, we got a real piece of dynamite today. A 1970 Dodge Challenger Hemi convertible. $165,000 build. Here's all the specs and information about the car. Uh, it was only about 1,200 miles on it since it was finished. Complete rotisserie restoration, uh, upgraded sport suspension, air condition, six speed overdrive automatic, power windows. It's got it all. Air condition. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs. Look at the pictures top to bottom. You'll find a price tag on this car and every car we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option if you go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this car is really done right. I mean, it's laser straight. It's, it's just done throughout. Stripped it to a bare shell, flipped it on a rotisserie. The underside is all painted the same smooth, glossy red. The metal under the car is pristine. There's absolutely no rust or damage. Has a complete Hotchkiss sport suspension. This thing will handle uh, a road course. This thing's really set up to take the turns and handle and stop really, really well. Uh, you know, up front, it's all Hotchkiss. Uh, Matter of fact, I'm going to refer to my notes. <clears throat> uh, up front, uh, upper and lower adjustable tubular control arms, adjustable strut rods, forged torsion bars, a bigger sway bar, Fox gas shocks. It has Hotchkiss frame connectors tying the front to the back so you don't get that body twist. Everything in back is done. It's all Hotchkiss spring, shackles, sway bar and Fox gas shocks. Upgraded Willwood brake system. Big six piston calipers in front, they're red. Uh, slotted rotors, disc brakes at all four wheels. They're four piston in back. All new you know, brake lines, hoses, custom e-brake assembly. Uh, nice custom exhaust system. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. Dynamax mufflers, has the correct square tips coming out through the valance. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless, uh, you know, high torque starter, uh, 727 automatic trans completely rebuilt, and it has a gear vendor overdrive, so it makes it a six speed automatic trans. The gears in the back, it is a rebuilt uh, <clears throat> Dana 60, so it's the heavy duty rear end, 410 posi gears, which will make you take off like a slingshot at the light. But with the overdrive, you can cruise down the highway all day long in this car. Uh, and again, everything under there, uh, it's a TTI exhaust, but everything under there looks new. Uh, and it's a ceramic coated fuel tank, fuel lines are new. I should say new when it was restored about five years ago, but only about 1,200 miles on it since. Uh, so now let's check out the body, and I can already tell you it's laser beam straight. <clears throat> No issues, straight, lines up square and flush, not an issue. Look down the sides, absolutely straight. The bumper fits the body real nice. The body lines are all nice and smooth, square. No bubbles, no damage, no dents, no issues. All clean metal, fits beautifully. Lines up real nice. Obviously, it's a shaker hood. There is a bubble right here on this, on this rim, this piece of trim. There's a little spot right there for some reason. Uh, I'm just looking at the body, but I can also tell you the paint is pristine. That's the only flaw I've seen so far. I don't see any nicks or rock chips. I don't see a crack. I don't see any issues at all. The hood lines up square and flush. Arrow straight on this side too. I've already inspected it. I can just tell you the body is pristine. Has the pop-up gas cap. All the trim has been replaced or redone. Your new door handles, uh, dual chrome racing mirrors, 
All the stainless is buffed out like chrome. New correct antenna, looks like new. The emblems, the pen star, the trim, the windshield's been replaced. All in excellent, excellent shape. Now you can go a couple different ways. This is just opinion. You can ask 10 people and you get 10 different answers. Beautiful uh, wheels on here. They're torque, flush, torque thrust special edition, uh, 17 inch performance tires. The car is pretty much stock in appearance. You could put the original rallies if you preferred that look. You can put one of the white stripes on the side and that would be just a decal or you can leave it just the way it is. So you have some options uh, if you so decide. Tail light and all the chrome around it, that all looks new, probably was new. The trim, all that's mint. It's a white convertible power top. That's all been replaced, restored. The framework is painted, the rubber's new, the top pump, all of that's been redone. So all the window seals, weather strips, all redone. Let's talk about the front end real quick. Of course, the bumper's restored. It's got the little grommets, all the trim. Looks new. The grill is in excellent shape. A little bit, little bit of wear right there on the chrome. So now let's open it up and I'll show you what's under that hood. All right, let's see what the trunk looks like. Well, under the trunk lid is painted smooth and glossy. It's pristine. Trunk jam is slick as the outside of the car. New weather strip. Matter of fact, the whole trunk compartment. Just take a peek at how nice that is. I'm sure it's a new trunk pan, all painted beautifully. Uh, the filler neck, you can see is new and polished. Any grommets, uh, the housings on the lights, the wiring harness, the latch, all of it is new. Got pristine trunk compartment. Well liner's new. I keep saying new, I mean new when it was restored. Door jams are slick as can be, and the weather strips are replaced. Door panels are in mint condition. The armrest pad is not cracked, but the white dye on the pad is flaking a little bit. That's an easy fix. And you might notice there's power window switches down there. There's uh, power window conversion in all four windows. The dash pad is in excellent shape. Uh, no cracks or splits, uh, which usually means they've replaced it because they all split. The instrument panel is excellent. All the gauges, the plastic, the knobs. has has uh, vintage air controls. They're electric, not cables. Uh, believe it or not, so has the original AM radio. And then you got controls for the gear vendor overdrive. Couple uh, extra gauges here, oil and a little mini tachometer. Here's the AC vents neatly installed. Clean glove box. Got nice carpet, embroidered floor mats. Uh, of course, the seats are rebuilt, recushioned, reupholstered. I'm going to say the console was probably replaced because it's all in mint condition. The slapstick shifter. Uh, but you see everything's stock, even like I said, the radio, the steering wheel. Uh, if you prefer uh, an all original type of car, you can put wheels on it and it's stock. Uh, so we got seat belts for everyone. They're restored. Uh, Polstery is real nice. The interior lights work on both sides down here. This is a well built car. This is not a slapped together car. This is uh, a meticulously built car. We're going to get to the engine. It's a Gen 2 426 Hemi uh, right out of a Mopar crate. Uh, it has a new 750 carb on it, uh, fast ignition system. Up front, it has all the billet uh, bracketry and serpentine belt, and a chrome power steering, chrome alternator, a polished AC compressor. You don't see much with that big. Uh, shaker hood hiding everything, but you certainly see these big Hemi valve covers. The whole engine bay is painted real nicely. And we got nice polished lines here for the AC. Big aluminum radiator. 
with dual electric fans to keep it cool. Looks like an Optima battery with a you know, custom matching pulled down uh, polished overflow bottle. You got Willwood brakes, you got a new wiper motor. Again, everything in here, every part, every wire, every nut, bolt, it was all restored or replaced uh, when it was restored. Everything lines up, shuts nice, feels right. I was just reading my notes. I, I said this is probably a new dash. Uh, it's actually the original dash. Uh, there is a small, tiny crack at the corner front of the speaker, and I mean a really tall or small, looks like a fingernail. It's that small by the VIN number. That's a remarkable original dash. And that's nice to have the original dash because the VIN number is attached to the dash pad, believe it or not. You change the dash, that means somebody has to drill out the original rivets and replace them. Uh, so that's an original dash, is what I'm told, and it sure looks that way. Uh, 426 motor, they're saying about 450 horsepower. This thing's got plenty to get it up and go. So an outstanding example, someone's put a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of thought into building this car. Yes, it's show quality car. This is a car to drive. Get out <clears throat> and feel how it performs. Uh, open up that Hemi, hit the corners. This thing will do it for you. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. Uh, they'll help get this delivered to your driveway. They'll help you finance it Yeah, volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video and you're going to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.